I was a child in the 90s. And believe you me, there was a time when I was more innocent and less vulgar. I was very innocent at that time. And also, I used to watch a lot of shows directed for children my age, toddlers. I used to love watching Sesame Street. I used to love watching The Magic School Bus, Barney and Friends. I loved Mr. Rogers and he was very near and dear to me. As well as he was very near and dear to a lot of people that grew up watching him for generations. Everything was wholesome back then. I, at least that's what I think, I don't know. I was a child, I had a different view on the world back then. I used to think that having sex meant making out and that's how people had sex. I didn't know that what I have between my legs is part of the reason why I'm here. Well, not for me, but it could be part of the reason why I could bring other life into this world. I didn't know that, I was a little boy. Like many other children around my time and the time before that, we were raised in front of the television. And this thing called the internet had yet to gain ground, but eventually it did. However, in the 90s, not many people had it in their house because you had it connected to the phone jack that racked up the phone bill. And there was not really much you could do. I mean, there was no YouTube, you couldn't watch videos. So, I don't know, maybe you could have, I don't know, played Doom online, I guess, I'm not sure. But as the decade progressed, the internet got better, technology got better, and decade went, and a new decade came, the 2000s. And pretty soon, by the mid 2000s, we had this fabulous thing called YouTube, where I'm currently talking to you right now. And YouTube, let me tell you about YouTube. It was very revolutionary for its time, and it still is. Now, many decades later, I'm an adult and I'm reminiscing about the 90s and I'm talking to you through the World Wide Web. And as such, with the progression of life, there's always a new generation and a new group of shows that these children will be watching. Now, I'm not a kid anymore. I'm an adult, but I have nephews and my nephews love watching these new children's programming. My nephew loves watching Paw Patrol. You know, there's nothing wrong with Paw Patrol. My youngest nephew, he loves this chick named Miss Rachel. I think, you know, that lady from Miss Rachel, I think she's pretty hot. I'm not gonna lie. They watch Coco Melon. They watch a whole lot of other things. However, there's one guy that my nephew loves watching. And he goes by the name of Blippi. Now, the first time I saw this Blippi guy, I didn't know what to make of him. He's just a grown man in like a overall wearing doofy glasses and he's just dancing around showing kids these things and he became a phenomenon my nephew loves the hell out of this guy my sister my older sister bought him blippy toys and i'm just kind of like confused i'm just like all right blippy all right if this is the new thing this is the new thing so me it being a curious uncle i wanted to check more about this guy and this had to have been like almost two years ago at this point so then i searched for him i read the wiki and i found out something disturbing about the guy who plays blippy did you know that he went viral many years before he became blippy for doing the harlem shake not because he did the harlem shake but because he did it and took a shit on his friend I'm not joking about this. I read this and I actually sought out the video. Why? Because at that point, I had nothing else to lose. Lo and behold, it was not hard to find this video. If there's one thing that I want to teach my nephew is never shit on your friends. Figuratively. And in this case, literally. Because you could call me what you want, but damn it. No friend of mine could ever said that I ever shat on them. Like I never climbed up on a toilet and hovered my ass above them and took a fucking diarrhea dump on them. Yeah. She's fucking gross. So I did what any other uncle would do. I told my sister about it. I told him, do you know this blippy dude? You know what your son is watching? This guy, there's a video of him doing the Harlem Shake and he did a diarrhea dump on his friend. The video's here. And she shrugged her shoulders like, oh well, that was then, this is now. 
So I did what any good uncle did. I capitulated. Because what am I gonna do? The boy loves him. Back in my days, the adults hated Barney, and I loved Barney. I loved him so much, but the adults hated him. There was a whole movement to kill off Barney back then. Why? I don't know. But later on, the guy who played Barney, he became a sex guru. And by that time, who cares? Because Barney was already off the air, and we already grew up. And that's afterwards. I don't care. Be a sex guru. But no. So you mean to tell me that Barney was the worst thing, but Blippi, he gets a free pass? Bull fucking shit. <sighs> Welcome to the new world.